Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Phil Holford and welcome to vlog number four. Today I want to talk about morning routine because quite a few people have asked me about my morning routine because I wake up so ridiculously early. Why do I do it? And a little dancey clip. Uh, we had a dance party in my house with the little boys and it was pretty fun. But let's get cracking with the morning routine. My morning routine begins with the night before. I'll set up everything I need to set up. My mat with my breathing exercises. I'll set up the laptop because I'll work on that afterwards with the music I use for meditation, uh, for visualizing, for my prayers. And I'll set up my notepad and pen and I just go to bed like that. So everything is clean and ready and prepped. If you do a little bit of prep, you are far more likely to succeed. My alarm goes off at 3.15 a.m. every single Day. I don't take Sundays off, I don't take Saturdays off. I put in every effort to wake up at that time, no matter what time I went to bed the night before. Then, as soon as possible, I lie down on my yoga mat and I do my breath work, which typically lasts about 20 minutes. I normally do it in the complete pitch black, but obviously I had to turn on the lights to show you. <laughs> Then I'll sit up straight after the breath work. My mind is very, very clear and I'm focused. I will do some sort of a gratitude meditation and I'll speak words. Sometimes I'll just think about how I want my day to look, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to respond when my children walk in from waking up, how I'm going to meet them. Then I'll get some water, I'll go and make a cup of tea, my delicious licorice and peppermint tea, or a green tea sometimes. I'll sit down with that cup of tea and I'll do whatever work needs to be done. So it's been a business course up until this point and now I am actually taking the knowledge I've learned from that business course to, and I'm creating a workshop for performers, for athletes, but also any other person who's interested in sports or being physical. Because I'm physical, that's my area of knowledge and understanding and I want to bless people and help them to find their passions, what they're innately good at, what drives them, what brings them so much energy. I would love to help people to create their own morning habits, or it doesn't have to be morning, but there's something about when you wake up from a night's sleep where you're in that kind of creative realm between sleep and wakefulness. That transition between brainwave, which is very highly creative and highly focused and highly uh, personal. It's, it's, it's just for you, it's not for anybody else. Then the kids come in. At some point, the kids come in anywhere between 5.30 to 6. Wait, leave it in the closet. Improvise it. And we'll just, you know, have a cuddle for a little bit. I'll do a little bit of breath work with the kids as much as they can handle. We may go to Lego. We may go straight to making breakfast, go straight to the skate park after that. Or we may watch a little bit of TV. We give them about an hour, an hour and a half a day of some screen time. <laughs> you <sighs> What is your favourite bit about Hook, the movie that we watched so far? Um, he cut the cube, cut, cut, coconuts. Oh, after the food fight, when he cuts the coconut with the sword. Yeah. When Peter Pan starts to believe who he is. Yeah. And what is your favourite bit, Zion? Uh, the skateboarders. Um... The skateboarders with the yeah. basketball hoop as well. Yeah. And then... Rufio! 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 Yeah. Rufio! Yeah. Let's watch Hook. Then, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go press it again. Let's watch, see that thing going across that. That one? No. That one? No. That one? No. Where's Captain Cook on? Netflix. Netflix. And that's kind of it. Little dance break. So that's where Thor gets it from. Yep.
The last thing I want to leave you with is to answer a few questions that I've received. The first one is, the most common question is, how much sleep do you get each night? Well, I don't really count the hours, I kind of just go with the day before. So I've had a very f difficult day, I may go to bed earlier, but if I've used my energy very efficiently and I haven't been stressed at all during the day and I feel very fulfilled, then I'll sleep less. You know, sometimes I'll go to bed at 11 and still wake up at 3 and I'm, I'm good. Like I've got so much energy for the whole day and it's been working for a couple of months, three months now nearly, so I think it works for me. <laughs> Do I feel clear or am I groggy in the morning? Extremely clear in the morning. It is by far the most clear pockets of my day. Why? Because of the breath work. The breath work connects me to the force of life itself. Breath is life. The final question, this is the most important one. Why do I do it? I like that time in the morning when no one else is around. It's just for me. It's very intimate. And I do it because it's very productive and I can visualize with wild creativity my future and not judge it. I don't judge the fact that I want something insane that lots of people have told me all my life I can't have. It's very rare for people to get that. Well, why can't we have a job we are absolutely madly passionately in love with, which touches many people's lives, adds so much value, contributing to people's sense of identity and purpose. Get paid well for what you do because what you do is authentic, it's powerful and it actually propels others to find what they love to create their lives exactly how they saw it when they were a child. I don't want stress because I have to do this work or I have to do that work. I want to do that work. So if you're thinking about having some kind of a morning routine, you don't have to adopt my way. It's just something that I do. But I think it's important to, to do something in that transition between your night sleep or your day sleep, if you work nights, into your waking life. Say if you decide to wake up an hour earlier than you normally do. Here's something practical you can do. Commit to seven days, just seven days. I promise you it will be hard. It will be a challenge. Keep the reason why you're doing it close to your heart and the momentum will find itself and just keep taking action, just to keep getting up and doing it. Because after you set the habit, it becomes much easier, much more clear, much more fluid. You, you start to create and you start to become a creator again. How we were always meant to be playing like children in our imagination. So if this blessed you, if this encouraged you, if this informed you, then please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share and enjoy your day. Um, and don't forget the most powerful emotion we can have is gratitude. So thank you for watching. I honour you and I'm really excited about the next vlog already. <laughs>